Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Talking Cricket with RDR. In this episode, we have been joined by former USA captain and current USA League director Sushil Nadkarni along with former USA coach and Sri Lankan and Canadian player Pubudu Dasinaike. I welcome you both on the show Mr. Sushil and Pubudu. Thank you, thank you RDR. It's a Pleasure to see Pubudu again as well, and uh, and uh, you've been doing a great job uh, talking to a lot of people, sharing a lot of information. So thanks for the invite. Glad to be here. Thank you very much. Welcome, Mr. Pubudu. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Arkesh, and uh, very happy to be here, and uh, uh, glad to see Shushil as well uh, after a long time. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to meet you both after a long time, and I congratulate uh, Sushil Bai for. Uh, uh, electing as a U elected as a USA uh, League director. Thank you, thank you, Adiar. Um, certainly uh, a privilege and uh, a great opportunity to serve US cricket for the next uh, year and a half. So I'm really looking forward to making a contribution. Yeah. So how are the things going with you, sir, Pubudu? All, all good, all good. Uh, uh, looking forward. Uh, Cricket to come back, a bit boring for the last two and a half months. Uh, uh, actually, I was in uh, Nepal uh, in, in, in March uh, for the Everest Premier League. Uh, and we started all camping, like, you know, I was handling one of the teams there. So, and yeah. then suddenly we heard this, uh, everything is cancelled and like, you know, and uh, we had to pack up and come back. So, and I, from, since that day, uh, you know, it, it's very hard. I think, I don't know whether... <laughs> Uh, I have gone through, uh, like, you know, in my whole life, like this, because very hard. <laughs> yeah. At least to watch, there's nothing to watch even. Yeah, yeah. it's a good sign that uh, USA Cricket has uh, uh, given just the guidelines yesterday and that uh, people can start resuming cricket. So, I'd like to, I uh, hope, uh, same thing in Canada, I guess, Kubudu, sir. Um, yeah, no, I mean, there, there's uh, still like, uh, there's uh, uh, kids have started training a bit here and there. there, there's guidelines like, but still it's not the normal, but hopefully I, I, I would say by July, August, uh, like uh, hoping things will uh, become normal. Yeah, no, it's a, it's really a hard thing for all of us as coaches and players just to stay in the home because we always, we, are got, we got used to be in the ground, play games and coach. So I'd like to start with the... Uh, uh, the show with uh, asking questions with uh, to Sushil Bhai. Uh, both of you, I mean, all the viewers, both the players have a unique uh, record of representing for both the countries. Mr. Sushil has represented India under 19 and he was the captain of USA uh, men's team. Whereas Pukudu has represented Sri Lanka and also as a, he also represented Canada uh, and he was the captain of Canada team too. So, how did it start with you, uh, Sushil Bhai, uh, your cricket career back in India? How was that? Uh, please tell us, uh, how did it start? Well, um, being in India, it's not too difficult to get connected to cricket, as you might imagine. You know, uh, just uh, like a lot of other countries, uh, I would say cricket is religion in India. So, growing up, you know, the love for the sport, it didn't take too much time to get connected. And uh, for whatever it was worth, uh, you know, uh, at a very young age, uh, I was particularly good at it. And uh, obviously that, uh, that encouraged me uh, when I was uh, growing up um, playing cricket. I, I remember when I was young, uh, I personally liked to play with the older kids just because, uh, you know, playing in my own age group, uh, kind of seemed a little easy and uh, didn't challenge as much. But uh, so <laughs> uh, in, my, in my younger years, uh, to be honest with you, uh, my coaching actually started around the age of 13, uh, actual coaching. I was always a freehand player until then. And uh, one day my coach actually saw me playing, uh, uh, my coach Nikki Saldana, uh, in, in Pune, he saw me playing in one of the grounds there and he was just about to start his uh, coaching academy for the summer camps. So that's where my journey actually started because when, I, when my mom took me to him to enroll me in the camp, he, he said, I've been watching you play for the past few days on the ground there. You seem like a really good player. 
um, I was hoping that he would join my academy. And since then, you know, he kind of taught me everything I learned uh, about the fundamentals of the game. And um, and in about a year or two, I, I, I ended up representing my state of Maharashtra in the under-16s and uh, graduated into the under-19s, uh, played zonals for under-19s and uh, I got my shot at... Uh, at playing for India under 19 in my last year of my under 19s. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I uh, was fortunate enough uh, to get into the Indian team uh, by scoring over a thousand runs, I think, that year in the under 19 season. And then finally graduated. Uh, once I came back from Australia, then uh, got a chance to make my debut in the Ranji Trophy for Maharashtra. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of what my, what my journey looked like yeah, uh, yeah. until. Uh, until there came a time when, uh, you know, I had to think about uh, a career, um, a professional career versus a career in cricket. And uh, my engineering degree was uh, something that, uh, that had a big role to play with my uh, decision to <laughs> come to the U.S. for higher education. Yeah. So that's, that's how things went for me um, until, uh, yeah. as you know, I came to the U.S. and then ended up playing for USA as well. Sir, I would like to ask uh, Pubudu, sir, because uh, in Sri Lanka, in, when you were playing in Sri Lanka, like because you represented back in 92 and something, how was cricket that time uh, back in Sri Lanka and uh, how did it start uh, with you? Uh, yeah, I mean, like uh, for, for me, um, I, as you all know, like, you know, school cricket is one of the, uh, you know, biggest uh, setups uh, uh, in Sri Lanka. Like uh, when you, when you, I mean, when you compare, Anywhere in the world, like um, uh, one of the best setups, like school cricket setups, uh, you know, is in Sri Lanka, and I'm, I'm I was fortunate to be in that system and started playing when I was nine years, uh, and um, you know, kept playing all the uh, age groups uh, in, in for for my school, and then okay. got into the uh, Sri Lanka under nineteen, and um, uh, and uh, then by when I was twenty two, I was able to get into the national squad. Uh, and um, mainly as a wicket keeper, um, so like I was actually uh, labeled like you know as a test player, test not ODI or T20. Uh, so uh, because of the wicket keeping, only Karvitan, Ramesh Karvitan, and, and me like he's one just one year older to me. So he was uh, the the guy for the the ODI and and in shorter version. So. Uh, so my in my time he kept all the most of the ODIs and I kept uh, in test yeah, test yeah. Um, yeah so um, and um, and then like uh, once um, uh, after the World Cup uh, winning uh, ninety six the uh, Sri Lanka won the World Cup and I was very fortunate to be in that era where uh, Sri Lanka was uh, Sri Lanka won uh, just one game uh, in ninety ninety two World Cup yeah. Uh, and uh, and then from there to the 96, we just came from bottom to the top. Uh, and I was fortunate to be in that era where I learned everything um, uh, from like, you know, from scratch to how, like, you know, you, yeah. you build up a team. So uh, maybe that may, ha may have had an effect on my uh, coaching career as well. Yeah. Uh, and um, and then in 2000, year 2000, I, I retired from my first class cricket and, and uh, my whole family we migrated to uh, Canada to, in 2001, uh, and uh, never thought of play, coming and playing <laughs> cricket in Canada. Yeah. And just that uh, happened. Uh, uh, played few club, uh, started playing a bit of club cricket because once you love like you know the game, you can't uh, move <laughs> out. So when you see somebody is playing, you automatically go and try to go <laughs> go and get involved. Uh, so you know, once my once that. Um, um, uh, my like four years those days like you know you had to wait, uh, uh, be there for four years to co qualify to play for your country so in 2000 I, I was there for four years and then 2005 world cup qualifier in ireland i was i was uh, uh, you know got selected like uh, for that tour and able to help them to you know qualify for the 2007 world cup as a player uh, yeah that's that's basically it's my playing career <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a good, I mean, you have, both of you have represented, Kugudu has represented Canada, Sushil has represented USA, and both of you had given your services as a captain too, and you both had a good stint with the USA and Canada cricket. So, 
Yes, uh, if I come back to Mr. Uh, Sushil, you came and um, you had some 170 and 200. That is what uh, which made the US, uh, then US selectors, uh, you got into their eyes and they selected uh, you to the US team, if I'm not wrong. Could you please uh, let us, uh, could you please take us through that? Uh, sure. So I think uh, my, um, when I, after I came to the US, uh, you know, I didn't realize there was so much cricket happening here. Because I, I remember I, w I actually gave away all my equipment to my uh, juniors in yeah. India and uh, boarded the plane. Uh, because my entire uh, mindset was on, uh, on uh, a career in, uh, through my engineering degrees. So around 2003 is when I started playing cricket again in, in USA. And that, that too happened by a phone call that somebody heard about me and heard about my cricketing background, gave me a call and said, hey, would you like to fly over and come and play cricket uh, for us? So that was uh, pretty exciting for me at the time and said, okay, so let me come and play. And slowly I started playing more and more in, in Houston and uh, Dallas. And um, I think it was around 2003 or 2004 when uh, somebody said, hey, you should uh, think about playing for USA. And uh, so uh, I thought, okay, um, <laughs> this is a good opportunity to continue yeah. the game. You know, uh, it's, a, it's like a second uh, opportunity <laughs> in life to, uh, to uh, represent uh, USA and, and try to experience international cricket. So... Since then, um, I still had, I was still, uh, I, I thought I still had a lot of years of cricket in me. So I started playing more seriously and started working, I mean, working on my fitness and, and get myself to peak condition to, to play, uh, you know, uh, higher level cricket. Yeah. And in that time frame, we used to have the national tournaments uh, in, in USA as well as uh, this particular tournament you're talking about, the Major League Cricket was a was a new concept that had just been formed yeah. and uh, my understanding was the USA team had actually uh, gone for the champions trophy and uh, and had come back or uh, there was some tournament where they had just come back and unfortunately USA had not done too well but uh, we went to Florida for this particular tournament and uh, I really wanted to uh, uh, you know uh, uh, prove a point and and make the make myself known um, and I, re I remember playing two games uh, and in the first one on a very very wet wicket went into bat and uh, uh, I think uh, at the end of like 18 overs we were we were hardly 10 for one or two or something like that just because it was so wet but ended up uh, sticking it out and uh, ended up with 170 not out in that game and then the following game again uh, went in, you know, uh, uh, very determined to do well and ended up, ended up getting 215 uh, yeah. unbeaten. So back to back big hundreds uh, in that tournament. And then suddenly, I think there were some articles that came out that uh, there is this, this player in, in USA who's scoring a lot of runs and the US team really needs some young blood now. Yeah. So it's high time to uh, kind of give, uh, give this player uh, an opportunity. And I think that kind of... Uh, is what you were talking about and uh, and uh, raised my profile with the selectors and I did get my opportunity to play in Canada and ended up getting a hundred on debut for USA over there. Yes. Sir, Prabhu, do you carry uh, any lucky charm with you or what? Wherever you go, you get uh, these associate countries, uh, get from lower level to the higher standards. So what is that secret uh, you have of uh, getting these associate countries to uh, get to the next level? Um, like, I, I think it's basically it's um, if you are if you are people say it's like you know mm -hmm. a couple of words it's all hard work um, uh, yeah. nothing is easy um, and um, um, uh, it's just that uh, like you know you need to understand the associate countries that all three countries that I coach uh, Canada Nepal and USA the the background is totally due to three different uh, setups yeah. so I had to get adapted to it and. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, find ways to you know um, come through that ICC uh, ranking. So um, it's uh, I mean I'm I'm still have confidence even if I get 
my fourth country. I'm still going to you know, uh, do that uh, because I. You know, I'm pretty of, sure. Yes. Um, yeah, like you know, it's, it's just that um, uh, you know the, the confidence that I have because I, I I I'm pretty clear on what what path that I need to take. Um, yeah, but it's it's uh, it's not. There's no there's no magic. It's just that hard work and and uh, and uh, and uh, and see how we you can put fire on players to you know perform. Uh, uh, and and you know uh, in in crucial tournaments and and the and the biggest thing is like you know I mean Sushil has experienced this and I'm I was in the opposition for a lot lot of times uh, when Sushil was playing I'm I'm not I'm just saying that it's not because of he's here he's one of the best players against spin in associate cricket uh, one, one time yeah uh, and we always plan a lot when he come, when he when we have to play against USA and <laughs> just plan for him actually uh, yeah so. Um, uh, and and the and the, I think if you ask me like you know what's the main, main thing is like you know you you need to know how the how how to get through tournaments like that five games in a in a in a like you know in divisions like you know you have to play first round five games yeah. uh, and 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 if you if you don't get through into that top two in that tournament your 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 country is like you know backward for two years or one year so that's how the ICC uh, you know the, the setup was going so it's just that you need to know. How you you get pick all the players into that one tournament and and get through. So yeah, um, yeah so that's I think like you know uh, how how things happen and uh, uh, happy to see how all three countries are doing well. Yeah, but it's definitely the credit should be given to you because there should be some plan and your conference conference on you conference on the players the plan the strategy. Yeah, definitely the uh, I would I would say you should you should also get the credit. So Sushil Bhai and uh, you have been appointed as uh, USA League Director. So how do you see cricket moving forward in US? What are your thoughts on uh, USA cricket right now looking at the uh, situation and uh, looking at the uh, USA cricket status and uh, the next future things? Uh, sure, Rakesh. Just before we get to that question, I want to provide a perspective on, on Pubudu's uh, yeah. coaching. I think you asked about the secret sauce, right? <laughs> yeah. What is it that uh, makes makes him successful? I've had a privilege of, uh, like he said, uh, playing against teams that he's coached. And then when he was working uh, with the USA setup, I, I've seen him uh, uh, do what he calls the hard work. And, and to me, it, it was uh, when I was playing uh, against Nepal, uh, you know, pre-Pubudu and post-Pubudu working with yeah. Nepal, I saw... A big cultural shift in the way they approach the game. You know, they they seem to be a lot more uh, fierce on the ground. They they seem to be a lot more positive mindset, a lot more aggressive with their approach. That to me was uh, uh, like a big uh, revelation in in how they played uh, their cricket. So I think it was a cultural shift from how they had been playing versus how they were playing. We found it a lot more tougher to beat them. Uh, when Pubudu was in charge and from when he was with the USA side to me I think the uh, the success was uh, f of the work that Pubudu did was not around uh, immediate results but it was the way he actually built up uh, built up the transformation you know uh, I think there was step by step I could see uh, the plans being made and and uh, the building blocks being put together kind of thing and uh, and we are, we are very fortunate that we uh, we we got into odi status when he was in charge so we to me i, I want to thank you Pubudu, for yes, uh, taking all us all the uh, it's a huge huge step in in our uh, cricketing history yeah. so i just wanted to provide that perspective no, no, uh, definitely that's yeah we should, we should so, all thank uh, Pubudu for that Hard work which he had done. Definitely. Yeah. So you asked about uh, where uh, being, like, being elected as a league director. Yeah. So we uh, certainly have a lot of work to do. Um, as you know, my my uh, um, uh, stint with the board has just started. Uh, it's just yeah. been a month back. So um, I've been actually after joining, I've been very pleasantly surprised at. Uh, the amount of work that's been done, actually, uh, you know, the board working with the CEO has done some really solid work, um, uh, very commendable. 
uh, it may not all be apparent mm -hmm. to the general public, but there is a lot of work going on uh, mm -hmm. behind the scenes. And uh, moving forward, I think uh, COVID, just uh, you know, the COVID situation was, it's unprecedented. It's something where I see, you know, the entire world having to fight one, one uh, issue that's never happened in the history of mankind, I think, before. But uh, to that point, you know, uh, we are all going to come out of this. Um, the confidence levels will slowly increase uh, from players, from parents, uh, from cricketers. Uh, so we'll, we'll uh, slowly adapt to uh, the situation. You know, um, I don't think people are going to rush out to the grounds to come out and play cricket. But uh, we have to follow the strict guidelines. I mean, we have to follow the guidelines strictly on uh, being safe. And uh, USA Cricket has just released uh, our, our guidelines around return to cricket. Uh, but moving forward, uh, you know, the, uh, this is all in the public domain. So um, there are a lot of exciting uh, initiatives in place, uh, which I am personally uh, uh, very excited about. The one is the minor leagues, which yeah. has been uh, stated to start uh, around the end of August. Mm -hmm. And uh, if all goes well, we'll have 22 teams uh, playing, uh, you know, T20 uh, in a professional setup, uh, which would be the first time for us. And, um, and then obviously the major league cricket, which has been, uh, uh, you know, uh, which, is, which is the next big step. Uh, for us to bring in major league cricket, uh, hopefully in uh, 2020 by 2022, yeah. um, uh, assuming everything goes well. Uh, so that's that's going to be huge for uh, uh, cricket in USA. Uh, outside of that, I'm I'm very very excited about uh, the national tournaments yeah. that uh, that have been announced already uh, at the under 17 and under 14 uh, uh, categories. Uh, I'm sure when Pubudu was in charge, if he had uh, access to national tournaments and players uh, with player profiles and data, uh, you know, we would have had a, a lot more data to work with on uh, on talent. And I am a firm believer that uh, moving forward with these national tournaments in place, uh, you know, we are going to get the next set of champs coming out, uh, you know, showing us uh, over a length of time, uh, you know, where the uh, where the real uh, the real talent is uh, like that can serve U.S. cricket for for a long time moving forward. So um, so we talked about minor leagues, we talked about national tournaments, you know. Uh, so those those are big. Major league is a big thing, and uh, I firmly uh, also want to uh, talk about uh, the high performance uh, program. I'll come back, I'll come back to uh, about that thing. Uh, I would like to ask, uh, I think not many people, uh, because we are shifting away from that uh, US cricket and now let me take you all to Nepal cricket. Many of us don't know that uh, you are the one uh, uh, who took out the thing, like you are the one who really uh, got uh, Sandeep Lamichani. So how has that happened? That's an in interesting story. Not many people know that and you are the first one uh, who recognizing could you please tell us that story uh yeah i mean it's an interesting I mean, story definitely all the viewers please uh, listen to this story no nepal actually it's a it's a gifted place where i mean like another asia asian country where cricket is crazy everywhere the cricket been played and and uh, and a lot of talent coming through so it just a, like like an you know, accidentally I, I met uh sandeep so i was actually going to a wedding for one of the players, uh, Basant Regni, uh, left arm spinner of that na Nepal national team, uh, and it, that the place was about six hours drive. Uh, so I, uh, we were like with another couple of guys in the car. I was we were driving uh, to go to the wedding, and uh, halfway uh, uh, there was a, a city called Chitwan. It's a beautiful place where you know a lot of uh, uh, forest and you know wildlife. Uh, so we. One of the guys in my car said, "Like you know, why not we we spend the night here and then you know start driving next day?" So I said, "Yeah, okay, no problem. There's no rush." So, and, and then uh, from the from when we went to that uh, uh, village, um, 
there was a couple of calls came they got to know that I, I was there and 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 then you know there's some cricket playing some kids are you know playing cricket and why don't you come and have a look so uh, and then we just drew there and and uh, and then we saw about five five six guys were playing uh, i mean practicing in a small uh, area like you know there is no matting no turf or just a bare, bare ground and put few uh, wickets uh, and this and a beautiful leg spinner coming in you know, and bowling like very smooth action and uh, then i went to him and i watched him a bit and 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 talked to him um, and i from that day i i i knew that he's he's going to uh, play a big role in, for for nepal uh, so i i got his name i got his details and and went back and uh, called him for the under 19 camp uh, it was not a easy task like you know i mean nepal also like every country has a system where you have to play your you know the 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 regional tournaments and you know come through the rankings but for 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 me to bring somebody from nowhere it was not easy yeah and uh, and then we got i got him to the national squad straight away i mean under 19 squad and then uh, he st- start going i mean he started playing and and the first world cup i think he he bowled really well and he got uh, uh, i think even had a hat trick against new zealand if i remember and um, uh and and from there i mean he he uh, like a lot of credit for 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 sandeep like one thing is his his playing ability the other thing is like yeah. you know the personality like uh, uh, and and uh, he got selected for delhi devils and then big bash and you know and kept playing every league in the world around the world uh, and still he's like like 20 19 20 years yeah. um and because of the his personality and you know i also have helped him like a lot of confidence on him and and uh, and plus the talent so but i'm i'm really glad that I, i i was able to help a youngster to you know to reach that level yeah yeah so you have coached nepal you have coached canada and you have coached usa too so how how was that experience in coaching uh, usa and getting it from uh, division 4 to odi status so how was that journey like when you took over uh, i mean when you uh, when you got appointed as uh, head coach of usa cricket were you thinking that usa would get to the odi status how was that start with us cricket uh, as a coach for you um yeah like you know i mean i, I um, like, like i said earlier like you know i've seen i've seen usa playing and seen like you know i have seen uh, you know for for few years and and uh, when i came to usa first like you know i, I, I was i had my all my plans like you know for uh, you know get to get them to the odi status because i i'm not a guy who were looking for a job i just want like you know i like to get involved uh, yeah. in places where i can make an impact uh, so i thought usa was in that line at that time um and uh, but uh, in 2016 when i came first time in three months time uh, you know we went to the division 4 which ha- happened in uh, los angeles uh, in some may in uh, yeah. september october um Uh, there were some great players like you know Taylor uh, Stephen Taylor was captaining and you know uh, very decent team and we won that tournament uh, but i was not fully convinced how things went uh, you know we we dropped about uh, 27 catches if, uh, in that tournament even though we have the champions um, uh, so i know that like you know m- moving forward you can you can play cricket like that we we, we had a lot of changes needs to come but the problem that i had was at that time Uh, when you win a tournament you can't do too many changes also right? yeah <laughs> you know, it's it's got to be unfair if i make a you know make lots of changes so um and and then we went to uganda for the division 3 next year and and we got hammered uh and, and once you start losing only you will see that the, the other side of everything like uh, you know the the culture that you still talked about and and uh, every problem you see when when a, when a team is losing so yep. uh, even the some things that you know underneath it comes up uh when you have a bad tournament so and and i feel that uh, that was the the biggest turn around for usa cricket uh, for me because um yeah. I, that 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 opportunity gave me to clean up all the issues and fix it yeah. and put it in the right direction so that when we lose that tournament we came back um and uh, and i i i i wanted to start up a new setup uh not like you know having new players but i wanted to have a like a culture in the team where 
the team is bigger than any individual and anybody who wants to be part of it like you know they need to be in that culture not not that we need to adjust the team needs to adjust for any individuals yeah. so we 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 had a like a, a, a quick turnaround and um, and uh, in in few months time we had the out cup against canada yeah and we went with a young young team uh, brand new setup yeah and one 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 that uh, out cup after very you know many years yeah. Uh, so the, the, just because that, I mean, Canada's team was much, much better than uh, th that time. Uh, yes. But uh, just because of the little things that we did right as a team, we were able to uh, win two games out of three. Uh, so that actually gave us a boost, and 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 the changes actually the even the whatever that time we had like you know the the uh, the administ administration and 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 the people around the system uh, was. Uh, I was able to convince them this is way, this is the way to go because even with a younger team we went and beat because beat Canada because just because that uh, uh, with, because the team set up so and then I got the help from like you know backing up from the from the ad administration and and we were able to you know go in that route and and build up nicely uh, you know and to the uh, division next next year division three yeah. and then from we got through that division three. Uh, in in Oman, and then went to uh, New Namibia for Division Two, uh, and and go through and and played very good cricket. Uh, and and I would say I would say like you know in my uh, coaching career uh, when I when I take when I compare Canada, Nepal, and and USA, it's totally uh, three different places. But the important thing is that I was so as as a person like as a person as personality. I mean per, uh, as a as a person, my personal achievement uh, i was I, I i rate usa as, as it was the the most uh, work that i did okay. to, to yeah. come up there uh, more than nepal and and canada because um, the you know shushil has this whole experience like where the you know the the culture that you know usa cricket had and you know bringing all these caribbean players yeah. pakistan players indian players sri lankan sri lankan players you name it like you need to get you know that Playing under USA flag, and I thought that was uh, in Namibia. We were at the at the top cream. Uh, everybody was like, you know, playing for one team and respecting the you know the, the country. And we we looked like a USA team, not like you know just a bunch of guys who got together and, and playing a, a tournament. So uh, I, I I thought for me, uh, my even my, my personal achievements, like you know, I, I thought that was the the, the the biggest change that I, I I could do to any any team. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's how I, I think that, that was the pathway, and then just to like you know going back to uh, what even Shushil said about like uh, in that three and a half years I was able to go around USA and yep. and look for almost you know every every player, uh, but uh, unfortunately there was not uh, proper tournaments for me to uh, assess uh, assess players, and even some players who are getting dropped from the national team they yeah. didn't have opportunity to you know come, come back. back because uh, there was not enough uh, cricket played but yeah. having said all these things and 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 the experience that i have with uh, like seeing uh, juniors like from uh, 12 years to the 16 i was i thought usa ha has some super talent coming through but it's just that we uh, you, you need a system uh, to to take care of those kids and, and i'm very happy to see uh, happy to hear from shushil that the system is coming in place and 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 i think that that will create like you know a huge impact and 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 start producing on on cricket cricketers. Yeah, no, that is definitely a, a great uh, a journey from Division Four to Division One. We all know that uh, how much hard work you have did, and you traveled all the places. You, I, I hope, I think you were remembering and you were telling the each and every player's name from junior cricket. So that was a tremendous work uh, you had done, uh, Mr. Kubudu. Uh, Sushil, I would like to come back to you and uh, like. Ubudu was mentioning the structure was not there at that time and as you mentioned the structure is getting better there is minor league there is major league so how is that structure uh, getting better when compared to last three four years and uh, people are I mean everybody in US uh, cricket is now uh, talking about the minor league so how is that minor league going to work and uh, how is the selection process going to be minor league because we have got few comments uh, would like we'd like to hear that from you. 
Um, so to be honest with you, I'm probably not the right person to provide details on that because I, I'm not, um, there is a whole separate uh, group of individuals that is uh, working on the minor league mm -hmm. um, uh, through the ACE organization, um, yeah. you know, and the major league cricket organization. Yeah. So I don't have all the details, but in general, um, you know, uh, there will be uh, 22 teams. Uh, they've already announced the centers, uh, the 22 centers. Yeah. Uh, my understanding is it will be franchise-based. So there will be, uh, you know, somebody will have to take uh, uh, franchise-level ownership of these teams yeah. and, uh, and be running those teams. Um, my, my hope is that... Uh, you know, uh, this provides a lot of opportunities for uh, the top level, league level players that, uh, you know, for a long time have been doing very, very well in their respective leagues. But the jump from the league level to the US team level has always been a massive jump not where not everybody can do it, uh, you know. So this will provide... Uh, an opportunity for those those kind of players to showcase their talent uh, yeah. in a more more local level, uh, representing the minor league team. And uh, you know, as time goes by, the level of competition is going to be very high because yeah. uh, my understanding is each team is going to have three professional players, uh, you know, coming in uh, from other countries or uh, or even based in US. Um, so the competition is certainly going to be high and uh, it can only help uh, all of us uh, in US cricket, right? So when you're playing better players, you're playing better cricket, um, your game's going to improve and uh, eventually, you know, that, that is going to then feed into the US cricket uh, national team setup as well. So, yeah. th so that's what my, my feeling and... Uh, and uh, and, uh, you know, the, the short to midterm vision is about uh, what's going to happen. No, ho hopefully, we all hope uh, things will go better and uh, cricket will start back again. So, Pupudu, you have coached Nepal, America and Canada. So, in these associate countries, who were the, who were the players were impressed, I mean, you were impressed by and uh, who, who went on to play the next level, whether it is IPL, whether it is DPL? We have a lot of franchising leagues going on. So, who are the players really impressed you in all these three associate countries? Um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, like I said, it's, it's uh, uh, totally three different places. And uh, and uh, if I had to go back and, and and talk a bit about like you know all three countries, uh, mm -hmm. Canada when I, when I took uh, that team in 2007, they were just after the 2007 World Cup, and then I I, I took over, and half of the team, more than half of the team, was retired after the World Cup because they were. You know, so it's a, it was a like average age. Uh, the team uh, was 34, 35 at that time, and, yeah. uh, and then uh, the team was depending on three, four uh, foreign players like uh, John Davidson and Ian B Billcliffe uh, uh, from Australia and, and New Zealand. So the, the all the handling and you know all the uh, all the front line was those two guys, and and the, and the local players were just uh, supporting that. Uh, so I thought that has to, has to be changed, and and but when you thought of changing, you can't do a, a, everything overnight. You had to you know build up into that system, and uh, so so to, in 2009, a World Cup qualifier, uh, which happened in South Africa, and I still had to use all these foreign players and and experienced players. But once you get qualified to the World Cup, and I just want to see that young, you can't, you don't want to go to a World Cup and show the world older players. Uh, yeah. And and you're not going to a world associate country is not you're not going to a World Cup to win a World Cup, but you need to show the world what you have in that country. So yeah. I had to battle a bit, like you know, with uh, selectors that, uh, to to get a younger team. But we I, I was able to uh, convince them, and 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 we took a team averaging age, age average age was around 23, 24, and that's the time. Karan Nitesh Kumar, the captain of Canada, he was 16 years old uh, when he was uh, going to the World Cup in 2011. Wow. Uh, and we had about five, six players from under 19 system. Uh, so we introduced that in, 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 in you know, the team. And I, I thought Nitesh was one of the best batters at that time, even though he's, he was young in the associate world. And he's still like, you know, he's, he's, he's one of the best at, at the moment as well. Um, 
and and then coming back to Nepal, Nepal actually had had a good uh, setup. I mean, as national team, there's so much of talent, and it's just that I need to uh, give it a bit of uh, confidence and and uh, and do a few few little changes. Uh, and 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 uh, just to like you know, to, I want like you know people to know even the, the, how little things can help. Uh, uh, in, you know, in the associate world, where when I when I went um, uh, first time to Nepal, uh, so and then you know we had a camp, and in that camp um, uh, uh, during the lunch, the players were like you know so and we we, uh, we, we stopped for lunch first day, and then players I I, I saw them going into you know to, to the eating area, and they they got their plates with food and. And there was no uh, chairs and, and, and tables anywhere. So I was looking where they could, you know, sit and eat. They just sat down on the floor and started yeah. eating. Um, so I asked how some of the administration was there. And I asked, like, how, what, what, is that? what is that? Like national players are sitting on the floor and eating. Yeah. They said, no, no problem. That This is Nepal. Everybody does that. I said, I know that maybe Nepal has a culture. But national team cannot be like that. You, you know, you need to respect these guys who are working hard. Like, you, you know, those are very simple things. So next day we got tables and chairs. So, you know, we got them to sit down properly and, 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 and eat. And, uh, and then I, I can remember one day, I mean, first to ever tour, actually we went to uh, India, uh, Mumbai, uh, just like as a, as a training tour. And, and first day when, uh, like, you know, we went with the manager and when we asked, like, you know, uh, oh, I, mean, I told like, you know, everything, ha everything has to be properly arranged and make, make sure that like, you know, outside things, you know, the manager will take yeah. care. And he said, "Yeah, yeah, everything is everything is perfect and 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 arranged. So don't worry. So we had first practice day, and we we landed and before you know we went to the hotel and kept all the stuff and we went we, we went early morning. But we we thought we just going to have a quick uh, uh, fitness session and come back before the breakfast. So we came back, and then when I asked them where's the breakfast, like they were they they arranged a bicycle coming close to the hot uh, the ground with food in the in the backside, and they are just." you know, giving food, like, you know, players. So that's the last day that happened. And, and all, all these little things yes. off, the, off the ground, uh, like, you know, bringing the respect to the national, national team players is very important. So it, it yes. just, uh, you know, changed the whole thing. And, and when you ask, if I, actually for your question, like, you know, so that build up came up and, and I would say the, the best thing ne uh, Nepal had was uh, their captain, Paras Karka. I think he's one of the best leaders that I've, I've gone Definitely. through. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, you only had to talk about a bit of plan and, 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 and the rest, like, you know, you don't have to worry. He's going to take it and, and, and execute it in, on, on the ground. Uh, and then, you know, there's a lot of talent in that country, like from Paras to the two, three very good batters and Sandeep Lamcham that came in, in, in the system, but they, they just kept producing spinners. You can, you can have, yeah. like, uh, actually they can give left arm spinners to, all the associate countries, there's that many <laughs> left arm spinners in that country. So, uh, I, I, so that's the thing. And then coming coming to uh, uh, USA, I, I think I, even USA had had a great great, great setup where I I I, I rank uh, uh, Stephen Taylor very high. I mm -hmm. I think that he hasn't achieved uh, uh, for his talent. Like uh, he should have been playing in these uh, leagues around the world. Uh, but there are a few few things are missing from him. The, you know, for, for him to, you know, yeah. uh, play in that level. So, and, and, and also like, you know, if you, if you, if you take uh, um, uh, uh, Hayden Walsh, uh, yeah, Hayden he, Walsh. He, 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 when, when we picked up from in, in, in uh, from Barbados, like uh, we, he, he was playing for uh, uh, Barbados uh, first class team and he was in the squad for Barbados first class team and, uh, and the, um, and he was playing in one of the CPL teams. Yeah, but he, he never got opportunity to play regular in the team. He was in and out, in and out. He doesn't bowl his full quota. He bats late in the order. Uh, and he, like he was not regular in the system. And when we saw him, his talent, and we got him into uh, USA setup, the way that he performed and and bat in the top of the order, bowling and 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 fielding and everything actually contribute him to go back and 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 the West Indies to represent West Indies. Yes. Um, uh, so I, I I think for him the biggest change like you know I I I, I'm, I haven't talked to him about this in in detail but for me looking from from outside 
he, he prayed for West Indies just because that he represented the uh, uh, USA. Uh, yeah, and, 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 and great thing uh, of US. Yeah, so, it's a good achievement. We can say good. It's a great achievement for US cricket. Yeah, and uh, I know overall, I think like you know, uh, looking at all these top players, like there's the USA has, has very good talent. Uh, Aaron Jones to uh, uh, Jaskaran, and there's so many players from you know uh, in that in that group where there's a lot of talent. It's just that uh, uh, you know uh, once once we put things together, I think like you know USA is going to you know do really really well. Uh, looking at the playing group. Yeah, let's hope US uh, cricket gets into the next level by performing well. As you rightly mentioned, there is huge talent. Definitely there is talent in US cricket. So, Sushil Bhai, I would like to ask, um, you have played uh, uh, cricket in India, you have played cricket uh, in US and you have played your childhood cricket back in India. So, whereas if you see uh, youth cricket here, I mean, personally, I feel there is uh, no proper structure. I hope that structure is going to come and as you mentioned, minor league and all this will definitely help the uh, youth cricket in USA. But what is your take on uh, youth cricket in USA? My take on youth cricket uh, in USA is uh, it's, uh, it's a very exciting time to be a youth cricketer in USA right now. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say that is uh, because uh, we are all part of a very emerging uh, structure slash uh, cricket economy, so to speak, uh, in USA. So, you know, these cricketers that are now, let's say they are anywhere from 10 years to 16 years right now, they, they have a tremendous opportunity to become part of a, of a very, very new structure that is going to be uh, put in place. So, so imagine uh, being part of uh, a national national tournament, you know, uh, which is uh, let's say an under seventeen national tournament, and uh, you are a youth cricketer uh, playing in that national tournament, and you score a hundred, and you go down in the history books as the first cricketer to score a hundred in a national tournament yeah. uh, in USA. That stays with you all your life, you yeah. know. Uh, the, these are all exciting times. Um, we, at some point, we'll have an under-14 setup. So, you know, 12, 13, 14-year-olds uh, could look uh, could be looking forward to being part of a national setup. So, th these are all uh, like new things that will come in place. To yeah. me, if I were a youth cricketer right now, I, I would be very excited to be a part of that. Um, the under-17s uh, also are now going to form our next under-19 uh, yeah. batch all right and uh, uh, the the world cup qualifiers are going to be held in uh, i think uh, in uh, late 2021 or early 2022 i'm not sure uh, one of those but basically the whole idea is uh, you know the under 17s uh, in that time frame they are they are now going to be getting another opportunity to uh, to take usa or go with usa to the World Cups, uh, to the qualifiers for the World Cups, let's say. Yeah. So, all of these things are really exciting things. Uh, you asked me about playing back in India. Uh, yeah. I can tell you the level of competition back in India is... Uh, I mean, uh, when I asked you about playing back in India, uh, because I'm trying to... Uh, because you had experience of playing back yeah. in India, how the youth cricket runs, and as we all are in USA and who is in Canada, because both the structures and both the playing conditions are almost same. So, how can we get into that atmosphere where we can grow youth cricket? Because youth cricket is definitely something uh, which is needed for any associate countries. Because players come from uh, grassroots levels. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, where I was going with that is the from an uh, taking India as an example actually yeah. is it's a more uh, a developed uh, country, right? And there is a lot more. Uh, talent available. So uh, yeah. I remember when I played the Indian under 19, when you look back at that and you say, okay, there were about over a thousand, maybe even more, 10,000 yeah. kids trying out for that team and you made it into the top 15. So, so you must be pretty good kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, the, uh, so for us back over here in, in the U S um, the number of 
uh, people you're going to compete against is not going to be as big. Yep. So, you know, you have, you already have a better chance than you would uh, in a country like India uh, to make it to the national squad if you're working hard. But at the same time, uh, you know, the, the jump from an under-19 setup to the senior men's is, is massive. So, yeah. we are at risk to lose a lot of the talented under-19 cricketers after they finish. So, one of the things I would uh, like to do uh, or, or work with the board or, uh, or my colleagues there is to see if we can do um, uh, something with, uh, with an under-23 setup where yeah. the under-19s, you know, get, get an opportunity to uh, take it to the next level, which is, which is something which is still taking care of them and, uh, and preparing them towards the national team. But otherwise, I think uh, we will lose a lot of these kids to the colleges. Yeah. And lastly, my, uh, my other perspective on cricket in the U.S. is um, right now, uh, the realization hasn't, hasn't really come to a lot of people, you know, who are, uh, I still see a lot of youth and kids and even uh, senior cricketers uh, spending a tremendous amount of time on their skills, which is batting and bowling. Yeah. But we need to produce, start producing athletes. We need to get, you know, fitness levels much, much higher than uh, where they are right now. And that's my uh, expectation that with a high-performance program in place, we've got uh, Richard Dunn, who's going to lead our high-performance programs uh, for USA Cricket. Uh, with these kind of programs in place that we will start producing, uh, you know, super athletes uh, that can compete um, at the international level because our visions are to take these teams to the World Cups. Yeah. So, Pubudu, as an experienced coach, you've coached three different countries and you've seen a lot of different players, youth players, adult players, and even some good high international profiling players. So, what is the suggestion uh, would you give or what do you think, what is the best way or what are the things which needs to be done to develop youth cricket in USA or in Canada? Because that is definitely needed to get the team better in the uh, higher level, which is the senior team. So, what, do you, what are your suggestions or what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, my, my thoughts are like, you know, I think USA and, and Canada, when you talk about the junior cricket, is very similar setup uh, at the moment. Yeah. Uh, so, basically, the, the private academies are actually producing cricketers uh, uh, to, the, to the youth uh, national teams. Uh, yeah. and, um, uh, and the talent is like, you know, there's no short of talent. There's so many uh, talent coming through and and uh, even like you know when we when Shushil talked about the, the you know the uh, how how you're going to keep those talent uh, playing in, in that level and plus you know a 20, under 23 setup like I, I can remember last year I was I was not directly involved but I was watching uh, few, how the under 19 team was doing and and when it comes to selection like you know you select 15 but there are another five six guys who are really good I mean yeah. and, and they, they they just miss because that you only can have 15 players. And when then you don't hear uh, after that, you don't hear about them. Like they're gone, they're 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 gone out of the game because there is nothing for them to, you know, uh, you know, to achieve because under 19 they 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 can't play again, uh, so they they give up, uh, they they go for their studies and and we lose them. So uh, I'm I'm sure the like you know I'm very glad how USA is doing and I think the system is is slowly coming into place for for those uh, youngsters to. You know, uh, continue, and, and 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 when you talk about the associate world junior cricket, especially, and mm -hmm. then you know, and when we talk about like you know, graduating from junior cricket to the senior team, the biggest thing that I, I see is like you know, the the playing experience. I mean, they don't have uh, uh, good competitions to learn the game. I mean, as coaches and and in in academies, you 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 training in 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 a uh, net net environment, and very very few days you get you know, to play uh, proper games. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, when you talk about the international cricket is, and, and when, you, when Shushil talks about India, like, you know, you know 10,000 players, like, you know, for you to select 15. So, uh, it, like, I mean, when, when you talk about that final 15, you easily have another 5,000 talented players. So, how that cream comes from that is like, you know, how, how, how well you handle the pressure, how, yeah. how well, like, you know, you're, you're fit and, and, and you, you can go that extra mile uh, to, to help the team, you know, and, and performing. Um, 
all these things matters, but uh, you know the associate cricket doesn't have that system. So uh, it's just the playing. Like you know, they need to play uh, lots of games. Like if I had to compare uh, Sri Lankan under-19 player and and any any associate country player, like yeah. since, since that Sri Lanka is like you know, there's a lot of uh, school cricket is mm -hmm. happening. When you are 18, 17, 18 year, years old, you 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 would have played 1500 more than 1500 or 50 over games. Yeah. Uh, and that experience is like you know is huge, playing playing situations, and where any associate in the, any any associate country will have like you know maybe less than hundred because like because yeah. of the, the T Twenty also is happening the fifty over actually game is forgotten, and everybody wants to play T Twenty so the game is also short, yeah and and your learning process also is going to be short so yeah the, that playing experience is the one that if if any country wants to make a impact um, uh, the the, the, all these players should have a six six months, like four to six months of a good season where they play enough uh, 50 over proper properly organized tournaments so that so that like you know they 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 improve that uh, you know their playing playing experience. Yeah. So Sushil, I would like to ask you, you've played enough cricket and you've played your age group and cricket here for senior men's team. As a player, because this is something a lot of players are lacking now too. Uh, as a player, what would you suggest? Uh, I, I mean, basically, when we talk about US cricket, what would you suggest for any player, for youth players especially, because youth or 19 or maybe senior player, what would you suggest when you go into your game? How would you bat? Because as Pubudu mentioned, you are one of the best associate uh, player against spin. We would like to like uh, get this uh, from you. So that it will be a good thing to learn for the kids who are watching out. Sure, sure. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, one of the main things that uh, that kids here in the U.S. Uh, need to learn, and that goes back to what Pubudu was saying, is uh, having that experience uh, to learn and, and have learned the different aspects of the game is is the ability to bat long. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I think talent-wise, we are right up there. Skills-wise, we are right up there. You know, uh, I see a big uh, transformation happening across the country in terms of fitness and uh, and uh, uh, athleticism. Uh, so, I, I see a lot of coaches and academies spending time on that now. So, so that is there. Uh, so, when you put everything together, uh, you know, the areas that I think, uh, again, going back from a batting perspective, is is the ability to to bat long. And uh, uh, currently, you know, when you look at uh, um, even our even our senior men's uh, uh, teams, we we've had a lot of uh, solid talent, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, we uh, we can really benefit from uh, players that that. Uh, can come in and uh, once they're set in, that they can dominate the game and uh, you know uh, take it uh, till the last uh, few overs. And when you have performances like that, which which used to be a big part of how I played my cricket, uh, you know, uh, normally my standards to myself would be you get me out in my first ten runs or or I'm I'm going to take this game, right? Yeah. So that just meant that I had to bat long and I had to pace myself through the innings, see how it's going, you know, uh, stay in the moment, not get carried away, uh, plan every couple of overs, uh, things like that. But also that, that to me, I, I know came from a lot of experience uh, playing back home uh, in India and then uh, playing a lot of cricket, uh, competitive cricket in the US as well. Uh, but uh, for the kids, I think uh, uh, that would be a bi biggest challenge. Uh, the next big challenge is going to be how to tackle spin. Yeah. Um, in in the US, uh, you know, we don't have uh, access to quality spin bowling, uh, and I, I don't mean to disrespect uh, the spinners in the country, but uh, uh, very honestly, as a batsman, as a youth cricketer growing up, you're not getting to face quality spin bowling, and I know what that looks like back in India. You know, guys have all these variations and they can hold hold their lines for long periods of time, things like that. So that is another area where, uh, you know, 
um, we can do a lot more with uh, longer format cricket coming in. Uh, even our spinners will develop much better. Yeah. Uh, you know, we'll be able to uh, have our youth cricketers facing more quality spin bowling. Because yeah. at the middle of your innings, you're facing a lot of slow bowling more than the fast bowling. And, and you've got to have that experience to rotate the strike and, 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 and you know, move the game along and keep the momentum on your side kind of thing. So I think those are some of the things that come to mind when you ask me you know, what youth cricketers should be thinking about. But in general, it's uh, ability to play spin and uh, ability to bat long. Yeah, that's, uh, that's absolutely true. And uh, that's... Uh... A good point. Uh, those are good points you mentioned. I would like to uh, end uh, the show by asking Kubudu one question. Kubudu, you have been an experienced coach and been successful coach. So how are you managing different players with different mindset? Because Nepal is different culture. Canada is different culture. When you come to US, you find different uh, different kinds of cultures because can US team is a mix of different cultures. So, how are you able to manage different players and to get them on the same page? Because that is really a big thing to work as a coach. So, how 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 how, how do you deal uh, this thing? Um, I, I think, like you know, it's um, there's a lot of things that I I did, but uh, basically, I mean, if you ask me, like you know, with for if I had to answer actually in, with few lines, like as a coach, you need to sink into the team. And see what what you have there, like you know how the players are thinking and and what their culture is, and and uh, you know and, and see how we can build up, uh, you know, uh, getting close to them. So, um, uh, I mean, Nepal was a, a bit of easy things when you talk about the culture because they all same setup and 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 uh, and uh, they they all were like you know very hard working, nice people, so that it was easy for me to set up things there. Uh, but uh, USA, like I said at the beginning, also was the hardest place that I worked before. So, uh, but then, like, like you know, uh, uh, we had some, like, you know, I mean, even at the current and, and then uh, in the last two years, they, we had some great, like, you know, players plus big names that have played test cricket and ODI cricket, for, you know, back back in, uh, you know, their their home country. But for, for, for me as a coach to get there, uh, get there, uh, respect is like you know I, I I had to find like you know how they behave and how how they do things. So uh, and then like you know I, one of the things that I worked very hard for USA was like you know slowly I I went went in inside them and 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 I want like you know everybody to play for USA. I mean USA is a place where when you talk about sports, USA is best in the world actually. Like you talk about Olympics, you talk about any other sports, like they they carry their flag with like you know you know very with with a yeah. lot of proud and 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 that that, that I, I don't i didn't see that pride in in usa team when i joined first and i mean there's uh, the the big names were there but but i thought like you know uh, i was able to bring that uh, into the table like you know in in the last few tournaments uh, that i was with them uh, and i i thought that's a key uh, for me uh, to to train that uh, uh, pattern in, in usa and and uh, and like you know, when you talk about uh, uh, si simple things like you know, uh, uh, when you when you play a tournament and, and say that, that tournament is about like you know 15 days maximum, and then most of the time you know they they are all uh, everywhere basically like uh, uh, and and you you very rarely you get everybody together for a, a good training camp, uh, mm -hmm. so that it's not easy to build that thing, you know, whatever the culture and what, how the team you want to be like, it's very hard to build that because they're only just getting into a tournament just before a few days. Um, uh, but we did a lot of things like, you know, uh, you know, I mean, these days the technology is so much where, you know, we have video calls or whatever, like, you know, you know, getting uh, players together. And, uh, and I think like, you know, it's, um, uh, uh, like I earlier also said, like you know, USA is in a great, great place, and and uh, and uh, uh, it's just that uh, you know now now the so we all think that the getting into ODI status is the is the harder thing, harder thing. But I I would say the the harder thing is to stay in that uh, uh, that that level for a longer period is more harder. Uh, and with these new rules, ICC new rules, like three years in three years yeah. you can qualify to play 
uh, for a country like you know you, you will see a lot of changes in Middle East uh, countries where they they be having a lot of uh, new new good players coming in first class players coming into play so a lot of challenges ahead but I think uh, USA in in the right path to you know handle that. So it was really nice talking to you, Sushil Bhai and uh, Pugudu. I hope uh, this conversation, I mean, his, uh, uh, all the, both of their experiences <clears throat> will help all the kids and coaches out there. Uh, would you like to add anything more, uh, Sushil or Pugudu? I just have to uh, put one thing, but uh, just to uh, elaborate like what Sushil said yeah. about playing spin. I, I, I would say yeah, that's yeah. one of the key things in, 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 in associate cricket. Uh, in my assessment, social like you know, I think about 35 overs to 40 overs uh, in in associate cricket, uh, uh, you you get spin, and we you only rarely like you know you get uh, pace, very good pace. Like I would say, USA may have the best fast bowlers in the world, uh, in associate world. Okay. Uh, other countries doesn't have that much of like you know uh, that much of pace. So the spinners are the thing, and 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 uh, like if you if you can play spin. And and if, if you know how to handle that, like you know, like Sushil said, to bat long, uh, and um, and and the and the biggest thing that I think happened was like when you talk about batting long and playing playing against spin, uh, what happened in USA local cricket is like you know when somebody's bowling really well, you defend one or two times, and then if the bowler is not giving you the loose ball, they just come and smack. If you connect, you connect. If you don't, you get out. So that's the way you handle uh, a good bowling. Um, but you can't come do that when you come to the next level. You need to have skills, you know, using feet or, or sweeping the ball. You need to have skills to handle uh, spin. So, and and that that's a long process that, to uh, teach that. You can't teach, teach all these things in in one week, two weeks. So, I think junior, junior cricket and and the, and the domestic cricket is very important to co focus on that area, so that you know the players coming through the system are capable of scoring runs at the top. So that's my two cents. Like you know for any associate country. Okay. Would you like to add anything more, Sushil? Yeah, absolutely. Um, look, uh, I think US cricket is uh, going in the right direction. Um, I know it's taken a long time, but uh, I think uh, um, the entire US cricket community should, uh, should feel excited right now. There are a lot of uh, cool projects uh, that are underway and uh, and will materialize uh, in the next six to 12 months. So all, all the hard work, all the patience will start to pay, pay off. Um, you know, one of my main uh, visions or dreams basically to even uh, uh, make myself available at the board level was for the youth uh, in our country uh, to, to, you know, get, get a system in place where uh, a kid can uh, you know, uh, actually have a pathway and, and, and see the steps involved to the U.S. team. So when that comes into place, it'll be, uh, it'll, uh, it'll be an amazing amount of satisfaction for me to see something like that uh, available for the kids uh, for the future. Yeah. So just hang in there, everyone. We are, uh, we are go I think we are going in the right direction uh, and good things are around the corner. So let us all hope all the associate countries come up with good cricket structure and players come out well. And especially as we are living in Americas, uh, Canada and the US, uh, let us all hope the cricket grows, grows and grows bigger and bigger and get to a good state. And let us all hope uh, we'll be getting out of this coronavirus and uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be back to normal. Say. Stay home, stay safe and thank you both of you for joining us. Thank you. You're welcome. That's, Good luck. That's Rakesh. And thanks, uh, Sushil. Uh, very nice to you know, talk to you after a long time. Yeah, yeah same here, Puguru. What? Thank you. Good luck. Good luck.